Hello, good evening, and welcome to Panorama once a week. And I'm Joel Reckler, your host for tonight and every night. <laughs> tonight, uh, I have a guest, which is uh, I'm known for a while, uh, but we don't see each other very often. A wonderful person and a good performer. His name is Mark Dubois, a universally acclaimed and outstanding lyric tenor voice. Its exceptional clarity and formal purity and artistry, whether in opera, operata, oratorio, baroque, or a Broadway musical theater, is an extraordinary versatile performer. He has performed in every major orchestra from Canada, United States, Europe. He also performed with the late John Paul II, President Ronald Reagan of the United States, the Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, and of course, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Mark started singing when he was six years old and a soloist for St. Augustine Church, and later he was organist and choir director. Went to University of Toronto in 1978. And here is my friend, Mark Dubois. Mark, how are you? I'm well, thank you, Joel. This is the second time we interview each other. The first time was on radio. We don't know what, how long ago was that, but probably 10 years ago, remember? Oh, yes. Yeah. I was probably five. <laughs> yes, <laughs> could it be, yeah. Uh, one thing I was going to ask you, your, your first Broadway, oh, your first opera was The Marriage of Figaro. Is that in Toronto? Yes, that was, that was the first time I sang in Toronto in opera. My mm -hmm. actual, the actual first opera I sang was, where else? Thunder Bay. Ah, they, uh, Yes, Dwight Bennett. So it's was a Canadian production, yeah. Bay, but nobody thought opera was being done in Thunder Bay, and I was in Carmen. I was one of the smugglers in Carmen, and it was an all-star cast. Judy, I like that play. Judy Forrest, Jean Bonhomme, Janet Stubbs. It was a, it was a big show. Where are those people now that you mentioned? Well, Jean Bonhomme died. Um, oh. uh, Judy Forrest is out west, and Janet Stubbs is in Toronto. Yeah. She's still performing? No, I don't believe uh, she's performing. I think I'm one of the survivors. Yeah. <laughs> when you perform uh, with John Paul, was that in Vatican City? No, in fact, that was at the Downsview Airport. Um, Oh, that was, I that was 1984, visit. 85. There you go. I that, remember that. That was his visit, and uh, I he he was in the Pope Mobile, yeah. yeah. And and uh, the Pope Mobile made these circles, but then it came and stopped in front of the <laughs> choir when I was singing uh, this part of uh, in Ave Maria. Oh and yeah. Of course, for Schubert? for Catholic, for, yes, for oh, ca Schubert, for Catholics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Ave Maria is so sacred. Yes. And I think I screwed up the words <laughs> because I was so, I was so scared because he was right Wait, there. Wait, he was in Latin? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yes. okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. Gratia plena, benedicta yeah. tu, mulieribus. Yeah. And I, I mean, I know it inside out backwards, but just to have him stop the Pope yeah. Mobile there. Well, every Ave Maria hear. is all the same. It's just the, the words are turned around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you the get, Schubert but, one was originally written in German. Yes, and it then, was. Yeah, and it's, translated it was, to Latin. It yeah. was based on the Lady of the Lake, uh, but it wasn't... Yeah, That's the most famous one. Very, it, and then Gunud was the second Gunod, one. Gunod, yeah, yeah, that was taken from a Bach, uh -huh. uh, from the first clavier. Uh, uh, and and Guno wrote yeah. the Ave Maria to it, put a melody. It's a beautiful aria. It. Yeah, I sang beautiful that a lot aria. when yeah. I was a boy soprano. I used to sing that for weddings for fifty cents. It was great. Did you ever sing that in a funeral? Yes. Really? Yes. Whose funeral? Well, you, yeah, you can. You know, lots of <laughs> lots of the repertoire for a marriage is the same as a funeral. So yes, absolutely. Maybe that yeah. tells you something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the Ave Maria is for weddings and funerals, ceremonial yeah. things. Yeah. Panis Angelicus, yeah. the same thing. Oh, yeah, you another know. one, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, even uh, uh, recital and concerts, you yes, know. Yes, I've sung it in every venue and at every, every kind of uh, um, celebration. 
Because you know what, Mark? I remember Memorial. that when I was 12, 11 years old, and I would listen to Mario Lanza yes. singing Ave Maria and As My I Beloved. Would. What was that? My Beloved song, and, you know? And you, you were my beloved. Yeah. And then I realized later on, he wasn't that a good opera singer. Now I like Pavarotti, yeah. Carrera, yeah. And even the Placido Domingo. Yeah, well, Domingo's, they're all fabulous. Yeah, did you ever work they're with Placido fabulous. Domingo? I didn't work with Placido. Mm -hmm. I have met him at Covent Gardens in... Uh, oh, you met him, in, eh? in, in England. I heard he knows 100 opera. Would you believe oh, that? I, I would think so, because I, I think I've sung 50. Oh, see? Yeah, but he sang a lot more than me. But yes, he, he, uh, the one I met more times was Pavarotti. And John John Vickers, yeah. these are great. These are gods. You know. Where did you sing for Ronald Reagan? Well, that was in Ottawa. They, there was the summit. Oh, his state visit. It was a, yeah, it was a summit something or another. And, Who was uh, our prime minister at the time? Uh, Brian. Oh, Brian Mulroney. Mulroney. Oh, I see. But yeah. I met them all. I, I fortunately I know the Schatz family yeah. from Toronto, and they were. They're related uh, by, by marriage to Roland Missioner's family. Yeah. And so they're all family. And uh, when Roland Missioner died, I was asked to do the state funeral. There was a state, he was the lieutenant governor, the governor general. And also you also signed for Her Majesty. But you know what? Mm. Uh, we, we, we would like to come back with Mark Dubois. Yeah. But we can have a few commercials. And I would like to welcome our new one, which is the... Um, Catholic Cemetery and Funeral Services with the Diocese of Catholic Churches of Toronto. We'll be right back. Call today to learn more about Advanced Planning Cemetery and funeral arrangements and take advantage of our interest-free terms of up to 48 months and save the HST on select services. Whether you're thinking of selling, buying, or investing in real estate, call George Sagan first, the honest and experienced realtor who delivers. For a limited time, George is offering our viewers a free Apple iPad or Samsung tablet. Call George today or visit his website. Ogden Funeral Home, providing exceptional service at affordable cost. Visit us at ogdenfuneralhome.com to learn more about your options. Formula Honda is your family corner Honda dealership and we speak 20 languages right in the corner of Markham and Finch in Scarborough, Formula Honda. Hi, we're back with Panorama and we are tonight with our very special guest, Mark Dubois. Can you explain uh, for the benefit of our audiences, what is a lyric tenor? Well, lyric tenors are different from dramatic tenors. Yeah. Uh, lyric means uh, the actual voice is not dramatic. That doesn't mean that we can't be dramatic, but we don't sound like the Italian uh, dramatic tenors or the German dramatic tenors. We are a lighter voice. Therefore, we're much better suited to uh, Mozart to oh. Rossini, to the light uh, French repertoire. Um, and whereas the more dramatic voices can't sing that repertoire. It's just not built for them. So for a man of a tenor, you got only dramatic and lyric. Not like the well, soprano, they have mezzo. No. They got, you know, that's coloratura. Right. Well, they have a, a, they have a, they actually have invented quite a few names. Yeah. There's, the, there's the, the, the light lyric. So many of them already. Yeah, there's light lyric, there's lyric tenor, then there's spinto, and then dramatic. It, it's, it's all just the weight of the voice. You Who's know? your favorite and, one? And, oh, my, my, my all-time favorite yeah. has always been uh, Pavarotti. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. but I was weaned on, on uh, Mario Lanza, and uh, he, Caruso, because my mom, my mom and dad listened to him. My dad oh, loved that's why. Uh, him. And then I got a lot of 33 records. Uh, I remember that. Records, and I listened to Caruso a lot, but the, and Gili. Caruso were 78. Oh, well. Then they come to 33, then come the 
cassette. That's right. Then come the CD. That's right. Sorry, I meant I meant 78s, and we yeah. had an old player. They break so easily. Yeah, but but you know what? Uh, they did do some re enhancements to to make it more accessible, and to bring out the real voice on those scratchy old 78s. You couldn't really hear the the core of the voice, and yeah. I think most of the tenors sounded the same. But um, when they, they, re, uh, they redid it, and then they brought out, and boy, the, the Caruso sound, then you knew why he was the greatest. I never heard him, though. That's well, beyond my time. <laughs> well, I didn't hear him live, that's for sure. But, How about female? Uh, Female, uh, Joan Sutherland. Wow, who, really, eh? She was, she was my favorite, mm -hmm. and I was fortunate enough to share the stage with her, too. Really? Yes. All in, the way you learned in Australia? No, uh, here. Here? Here at the uh, Canadian Opera Company, I sang Laertes to her uh, Ophelia in uh, uh, Hamlet. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, Hamlet. And, uh, and with Richard Bonning yes, conducting. Yes, yeah. That was a beautiful experience. And then I had them over to my home at the end of the, the run. Yeah. And uh, they were most gracious. And, did you ever work uh, with uh, Gitila Bartoli and Montserrat uh, Cavalli? No. Never no, did no, that? No. no, I never worked with them. I met um, uh, Bartoli. You met Bartoli? Uh, yeah, after a concert. But, uh, oh, she no. gives but everything Teresa she Stratus sings, was one of my oh, yeah, favorite. I yeah. met her many times because mm -hmm. uh, she was also with my teacher. Uh, How about Maureen Forrester? Maureen, I sang with her many oh, times. probably 50 times mm -hmm. or more. And uh, I, I called her a friend and she came up to my, when I, I had a little church, a little church. Um, it held 80 people. It was a country church that I used she's to just... She's from Montreal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she's from Montreal. But she lived in Toronto, and she came up and uh, sang in this little church for me and then came over to our house in the country. And she disappeared when she got in the house because she was up playing with my, my kids. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and she, she wrote us... Uh, yeah, she was an incredibly uh, gracious lady. I heard you sang right in front of Her Royal Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. And she, yeah. did you talk to her? I, I'm so interested yes. about well, that. Well, that we performed, we performed yeah. at Roy Thompson Hall, and oh, we, we yeah. were right down at the, mm -hmm. she was in the first balcony in the Royal Boxes. Right here, so you could, yeah. from me to the wall, and I sang, uh, Do you remember what's, what? Maria the, from West Side Story. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And then afterwards, the performers, had to line up after yeah. in the in the green room as usual. Yeah, and then we were told how to greet her, and uh, what to call her, and then she came down the What's, line. What, what, are you, what are you supposed to call her? Uh, your, your Majesty. Your Majesty. Yeah. yeah. So, so when your turn comes, what did you say to her? Well, she shook my hand and she said that was very beautiful. Uh -huh. Did and, you respond? I, I I did respond. I think I spluttered something out. <laughs> You don't remember. <laughs> I, I, Are I, you I, nervous? I, I, what I wanted to say, uh, um, not as beautiful as you, but <laughs> I thought that was probably inappropriate. And was she beautiful, though? Not beautiful, but a very gracious lady, and she was beautiful. Very dignified person. But you she, can tell. She was, a she, she was a beautiful person, you could tell. Dignified and um, a, very, a striking woman for her age at that time. I mean, even now, she's still, you know. Oh yeah, at ninety. She's she's, she, she's still yeah, yeah. she's a, she she was the same age as my mom, and uh, my mom and dad camped out for two nights. And she got the British accent. Eh? <laughs> yes, my parents camped out for her coronation. Yeah, they were in England and they camped out for two nights just to get a glimpse of her, <laughs> and I got to sing for her. You have pictures of it. You should have. They didn't, eh? they didn't allow any pictures uh, of us with her, no. Yeah. You start seeing at six years old. Yeah. When you were six years old, did you say, I'm going to be an operatic singer? Is that what you wanted? No. No. I wanted to be in sports. 
Oh. I, I, and then. And uh, how did you happen to be in? Well, I, I, I was I, I was starting tr real training when I was about ten, and then I kept on going. And then it just one day, I was singing in what I called my fake opera voice. Your mom and dad are into music. They were very much into oh, music. Oh, that's why. And then, yeah, then yeah. I decided I wanted to go to faculty of music because I was told that I could. This person who heard me sing took me to their house. I sang for the, her, her mother, who was in the Canadian Opera Company chorus. She picked me up and took me to this teacher, uh, Elizabeth Benson Guy, uh, down the road from her. And this was a major teacher. And she said, you have to do something with this voice. Would you say that because of being a tenor, you become a rich financially as a tenor? Uh, when, I was, when I was really doing it, like... Full time. On the road. On the road, yeah. And that's what kills you. Yes. Yeah, you know, I did 10 years of that where I'd be gone for a month and home for a week. Yes. And then gone for a month or even more. And then in the summer, the concerts were Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Mondays. And that was tough. And I'd go to Europe and I'd be there for four weeks. Because opera was usually a four week, three weeks of rehearsal, and then you start the performances. Yeah. And there can be. 10 performances, and because you can't sing opera every night, um, yeah. opera is different from Broadway, there'd be days in between. So if you had uh, uh, 10, 10 shows to do, and there's three days in between, you're there for, and you're away from your family. Well, opera is, that's where it is, Europe. Right, and then yeah. you spend all your money because you bring your family yes, over. Absolutely, yeah. Rather than <laughs> sit on the phone, the long distance bills. You know what, later on we're gonna hear Mark sing us a one beautiful song. So we'll be right back. Call today to learn more about Advanced Planning Cemetery and funeral arrangements and take advantage of our interest-free terms of up to 48 months and save the HST on select services. Whether you're thinking of selling, buying, or investing in real estate, call George Sagan first, the honest and experienced realtor who delivers. For a limited time, George is offering our viewers a free Apple iPad or Samsung tablet. Call George today or visit his website. Ogden Funeral Home, providing exceptional service at affordable cost. Visit us at OgdenFuneralHome.com to learn more about your options. Formula Honda is your family corner Honda dealership and we speak 20 languages right in the corner of Markham and Finch in Scarborough. Formula Honda. Hello, we're back with the Panorama and you can watch it every week here at FTV. And tonight we have Mark Dubois. We're talking about your family that they're all in mus musically minded people. Your wife, your son, your daughter. I'm interested with your daughter. She's a member of the faculty teaching music. She's, she's in third year of yeah. faculty of music. Uh, she's a voice major, so she has one more, one more year to go. Yeah. And then she's... So does she, does, does she perform classical? Yes. In, fa in fact, um, That's uh, nice. tonight I'm going to see her, her sing. She's one of the soloists with the university choir. What university? And, um, university of Toronto. Oh, really? She's in the same halls that I walked 40, 45 years ago. Mordale. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, in the basement of the, of the uh, yeah. uh, thing, there's big rehearsal halls, and there's pictures of me on the... Yeah. I got roles. lots of musicians from the University of Toronto came mm -hmm. to my show already. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Toronto, U, U of T is the best oh, of course. In, in this area. Uh, Is your son also from UFT? No, he's only 15. Oh, oh okay. I've, I went through UFT. UFT, yes, that's I right. Did, yeah, yeah. I did both opera school and, and uh, the faculty. And your son, also, your, your son is also a musician? He's an actor and he's a musician. He just what, auditioned what for... What instrument does he play? Um, well, he plays the piano, oh, good but for he's you. a singer. Oh, really? Yes, and he just auditioned hmm. for the summer youth program. Uh, of of Les Mis. Oh, really? Yeah. And <laughs> I think by the time this airs, uh, he'll know that he'll be 
in one of the major roles. Let me know. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. But because it's a I was production. thinking uh, I'm going to compile young fellows, yeah. both female and male, yeah. compile all together musicians and singers, one or two segments of the show, my show, yeah. and present them to the audiences. That'll be I'm wonderful. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Probably yeah. I'd include one of your. Uh, but you know, in the end, in the end, I don't think he wants it as a career. He wants to be a cop. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. And he can he, do both. He can be a singing cop. Yeah, he sure. can do both. Why not? There's the there's there's choirs. There's police choirs. There is a, a lady um, in Hong Kong named uh, Frances Yip. She is a Hong Kong cop, mm -hmm. and she become a very very famous singer. Wow! And she sang this Shanghai Breeze, which I used to sing when I used to sing. I used to sing mm -hmm. with a band, and I sing that one particular. <laughs> Chinese song, <laughs> Shanghai Breeze, and she made that song very famous. And every time I sing that, the audience just would have a big smile on their faces because <laughs> that was so famous in the 70s, you know. Really? And I yeah. heard she married a British guy, and she lives in London, England now, and she stopped singing. Uh, that's why being a cop and a singer, yeah, no problem, man. Eh? I have for it. no problem about that. Yeah. And he's, he's very, I mean, he's 50, he just turned 15. And he's really very much into it. That's all he watches on TV. He, he watches he the cop shows. Fifteen. Fifteen years old, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really into that. And Maria also sings. Maria said? sings in my church choir. Yeah. I have a church choir now in Orangeville. You were gonna hear Mark Dubois sing "Danny Boy," in uh, in our show tonight, of course. "Danny Boy" is written in 1930 by Frederick Weatherly an Irish composer, sang twice just recently in 2014 by the Vancouver Canucks in honor of Pat Queen. And in, way back in 2012, it was sang to represent Northern Ireland in the London Olympic opening ceremonies. And tonight, we're gonna hear sing Danny Boy by our wonderful guest, Mark Dubois. And Mark, I'd like to, a million thank you for coming Twice for my radio show and for the television show, well, and uh, it's always a I don't know how to thank you, man. It's always a pleasure, Joe. It's an hour drive from where you came from. That's all right. And then you're that's... gonna go now to downtown Toronto, the yeah. nearest in Toronto, you know. That's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Dubois singing, Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen and down the mountainside The summer's gone and all the roses falling Tis you, tis you must go and I must bide But come ye back when summer's in the meadow when the valley is hushed and white with snow, tis I'll be here in sunlight or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. place where I am lying and kneel and say an ave there for me and I shall hear the soft you tread above me and all my grave will warm us I 
shall sleep in peace until you come to me. Call today to learn more about Advanced Planning Cemetery and funeral arrangements and take advantage of our interest-free terms of up to 48 months and save the HST on select services. Whether you're thinking of selling, buying, or investing in real estate, call George Sagan first, the honest and experienced realtor who delivers. For a limited time, George is offering our viewers a free Apple iPad or Samsung tablet. Call George today or visit his website.